Hello, I'm Don Victor, and I'm going to decode this Joseph Decamp painting. And the reason why we like to decode works of the masters is because in learning to decode the design work underneath the painting, we then learn how to actually improve our own artwork and make it more profound. So here's a painting I find very, very fascinating. It's of a mother two children on a hammock. So one of the design techniques that I train my students in is a thing called a thrust map. And so this won't be a complete thrust map, but we'll, 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 we're going to find four of the five major thrusts that we look for. The first one we're going to find is what we call a dominant horizontal. And in this case, it goes across the mother's arm and, and over the top of the heads of the baby to the little of the little girl and then over to the baby. Then we're going to look for a dominant vertical, which goes straight through the mother's face. And then the dominant diagonal, which goes up her, her leg, up through uh, her torso, the top of the little girl's head, and then out the back. Where the three of these converge is very, very important. Now, what we want to look for is what we call a dominant contrast, which is located down by the mother's leg and the baby's butt. Now, the dominant contrast is really important because it's a place in which it has the highest level of friction for the eye and it grabs the attention of the eyeball. Now, why in the world would Joseph DeCamp put the high point of contrast at the baby's butt? Now, maybe the baby has to have its diaper changed. I don't know but I doubt that's the reason. So this is a very interesting technique that he does here. And what happens is if you look at where the three major thrusts converge and then where the dominant contrast is, and it also lines up on the dominant diagonal, and you allow your eye to go back and forth, maybe about 10 times, around the third time, something will happen in the image. And so what I want you to do is look at that area between the mother's head and the baby, the little girl, and then look at that where that dominant contrast is. And just at a pace of one, two, one, two, one, two, just bounce your eye back and forth between two, those two spots. And do you see what just happened? I'm not asking, did you see the elements in there, the drawing stuff? Or I'm, I'm asking, did you see what just happened? If you do this, you'll notice that the hammock actually begins to rock back and forth, back and forth, at a very subtle little, little rocking, because she's rocking the baby to sleep. Everything underneath the horizontal, the dominant horizontal, is is slowly going to sleep. It's rocking. You notice that her head is constructed of horizontals and verticals. She is above that, that, that rocking. She's in a moment of peace. Notice that none of the leaves come, you know, there's leaves, there's this energy around her. But as you get closer to her head, this coolness starts to low, have low friction. It's very peaceful. She's in a moment, she's having a moment of just peace. And that's what he's capturing, that moment of peace while she's just gently rocking on the hammock. So it's not just about a portrait of a mom with her two kids or a really nice scene or painting it perfectly or drawing it realistically. All of those things matter. What makes it profound is the experience that he delivers. And that's why he's a master.